Hello, I'm Dalton Potter, and I'm here today to talk about recambering a violin bow. Now, this is a process that requires a great deal of skill and a lot of experience. This is not something you should try with your own bow at home. You're much more likely to get into trouble if you do that. It's a very, very easy to break the wood. Um, a violin bow is made out of wood, as you know. The other part of the violin bow is, is horsehair, and the horsehair is actually something that we change out pretty frequently usually twice a year. But in order to keep the horsehair tight so you can play a note, this stick has to have a nice gentle curve to it. It acts like a spring, like a giant leaf spring. Now this bow has gotten very soft and it won't hold the hair as tightly as it should. So you can see it bending around like that. And what we really want is when we tighten the, tighten the bow up, if it won't keep a bend like this, it won't keep the hair tight. So this, this bow is actually so weak at this point from having been played so much that it's not keeping its uh, tension in the stick. So the way we fix that is that just like when the bow was originally made, the stick is now straight. It's been un uncambered. And uh, the bow is originally made straight and the, the curve that you see on all those violin bows is put in with heat. Now the interesting thing about wood is that if you heat it up, it actually becomes soft and it can be bent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the hair off of the, the uh, frog off the bow so that the hair isn't in our way because the hair would catch fire if we tried to do this. So that goes like this. And I'm gonna reach over here and get, grab my lighter. Uh, what I have here is an alcohol lamp. And uh, this is a wickless alcohol lamp so that it never really burns out other than to uh, make sure that it gets the alcohol in it. There we go. I don't know if you can see that flame. It's not as hot as some flames, like you can see me put it, moving my hand through there. It's about as hot as a, as a hair dryer on high. So just like when you could take your finger and run it through a birthday candle, that's, that's all I'm doing here. So that's gonna sit there on the bench. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start passing the wood of the bow through the flame until it gets nice and warm. So that when it's time, you're gonna see me take the stick and hold it in a sort of an extreme curve. And what happens is the wood has a memory. It remembers where I'm gonna hold it. And it'll go back some, but it won't go back all the way. And we'll just see how we can get this curve right back into this bow so it can play nicely again. Okay, now what I'm doing now is just testing to see how hot the bow is. That's still a little bit probably wouldn't want to put that against your face, but it's a little bit too cool yet to actually bend. We're going to want to get the heat all the way through the stick so that it can bend. Now the wood of the bow is made, this bow is made out of what's called Brazil wood, which is a tropical hardwood. Lots of bows are made out of Brazil wood. This is a sort of a, a, a student bow. Professional bows are made out of another wood called Pernambuco, but the process for straightening or recambering a bow is exactly the same where it gets heated up just like this with a gentle alcohol flame. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and do this. Okay, so this is probably hot enough now. Yeah, that's pretty much there. Okay, so now you're gonna see me just hold the stick with my fingers and it's gonna hold like that. And literally it has to sit that way for a minute or two while it cools off. Now I'm holding it in front of the flame, not in the flame. So this has a nice gentle curve to it that it didn't have before because I heated it up and bent it a little bit. I'm gonna put the frog back on. There's a little hole that it fits into like this. And once again, I'm showing this for educational purposes. You really shouldn't try to do this at home. This is really something you should have your violin shop take care of for you. But you'll notice now that when I tighten the bow, the stick does not wind up being parallel with the hair. It's got a nice curve to it. And that helps keep the hair nice and tight so you can play lots of notes really fast. This is Dalton Potter, and that's how you recamber a violin bow.